everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you're new here, I unbox subscription boxes and more. Today I have uh, the and more bit. I have a really beautiful, exciting box to share with you guys. This is called the Sassanac Crate. For those of you who don't know, this is going to be Outlander inspired items from the TV show and famous book series Outlander. Uh, the book series being by Diana Gabaldon. And this is not a subscription box. It's a one-time purchase box off of the company LitJoy, but they do have multiple subscriptions at LitJoy, um, and I just cannot wait to get into this gorgeous, gorgeous box. I'll have so many pictures of it, just in case you can't see it all, if it's not all on the screen. There's the edge there. And we have this gorgeous, gorgeous mountain scenery all around the box. Um, my address is on the back, but there's more mountain scenery back there too. It is so pretty. One of the most, I think it's one of the most gorgeous boxes I've opened. So if you are like me, you're super excited that Droughtlander is officially over and you want to see what's in this box, or if you just like Scotland as well, or you're in for a good time, then please stay tuned. <laughs> look when I get into the box and I know that everything is so crazy up close. So this is a sneak peek and we're going to take a look at all of the amazing items. For those of you who don't know, Droughtlander is officially the period between seasons on television when they air. So as of March 6th at 12.01 a.m., you will probably find me, well I'd love to say watching Outlander, but I probably will say editing this video. But this is the first item here. We open it up and it's, what is this? Oh, this is so cool. This has so many different things. I'm going to get you guys some light on this situation to take a look at this. All right, so don't worry. I won't give any spoilers away if you guys have, are not up to date uh, with season five. And we've got Claire, the main character, and Jamie on either side of the stones right here. And then we've got on the inside... The bounty that's on Jamie's head um, in the earlier seasons and books, the Inverness Burr Police, Inverness, and there was a reward for him. Functions as a product guide, so I'm not going to um, show you too much more, except we've got, now Claire, did Claire ever go missing? Was there a reward for her too? Now I don't remember. Inverness Burr, uh, Burr Police from Craig Nadoon, Inverness, Scotland. So I, I think she did. I don't, I, I'm blanking on that, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous product guide. Probably one of the best I've seen. So I am so excited, guys. Let's get in this box. I have to give a special shout out to my unboxing friend, Laura Wooten from Laura Wooten Unboxings. She unboxed this box a while ago. And believe it or not, as of today, March 5th, it is still on Crate Joy. For sale if you guys want it. Um, this is not cheap. This was uh, $125. I don't have a code, but I can give you Laura's code. I will uh, have to get her permission first. I'm sure she won't mind. She has a $5 off code with Lit, Lit Joy, so I was able to get this for $120. This is so soft, you guys. I bet it's a nice little blanket, I believe. I bet it's the clan colors of Clan Mackenzie. But this is the coolest product guide ever, but the font is hard to read, so please bear with me. But this is a Blanken Tartan Scarf. Join Clan Fraser of Lovat. Don their colors. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Sorry. It was Clan Fraser, not Clan Mackenzie. Um, that's even better, actually, because I already have something with a small tartan of Clan Mackenzie. So if you guys remember the Wee Box uh, from Scotland itself. Uh, this is American made, by the way, but don the colors with this 50 inch by 50 inch flannel tartan blanket scarf to represent family togetherness and unity. Two years or 50, a Fraser is a Fraser. Wash by hand, lay flat to dry, do not bleach. This is gorgeous. I love that it's a scarf or a blanket. It's so soft. This is so wonderful. And actually, now that they mention it, I this if you see previews even for the season six that's coming up, well, that will be out in a few hours, you guys. Sorry, Droughtlander is over. I'm so excited. Um, if you see previews, you'll see Jamie wearing these colors. I've actually, you know, now remembering it. It's gorgeous. We've got the browns and the blues. 
won't even unfold it all the way. It's so soft. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> oh, this is good. I know a lot of book crates tend to have these. This is a gorgeous tote. I'm not the meek and the obedient type. I am 100% sure that that is something that Claire Frazier says in the books or and the show. Um, I, let me know, guys, in the comments below if you've read the, the books. I, unfortunately, have only seen the show so far, but I cannot wait to read the books. But this is a high-quality tote. I do wish it was not in white. Uh, being a tote bag, you kind of almost know you're going to get that dirty, you know what I mean? All right, so just like I was saying, this is a medicinal herbs bag. I was right. Uh, collect your favorite herbs and wildflowers in your canvas med medicinal tote before concocting your potions and healing remedies. Or just carry your books and gum, gym clothes, whichever you please. But careful, but careful you aren't accused of being a witch, even if you are not the meek and obedient type. And it was artwork designed by Carrie.Rogers.Art at on Instagram. Uh, so that is again stunning. Another stunning piece to add to this. This box is amazing, you guys. So next, I'm just pulling out this little black. Uh, pouch here. Feels like something really heavy and maybe breakable <laughs> and fits in there really well. Oh, yes. It's one of my favorite parts. Uh, based on the second novel called Dragonfly in Amber, <laughs> I do believe, yes, we do, we have a Dragonfly in Amber. Let's see if you guys, I'm not sure, I want to make sure you can see that. Alright, so not only do we have a dragonfly in amber, but we have a dragonfly in amber soap. This smells absolutely amazing. I can't place it, but it definitely smells clean and fresh. We'll see what the product guide says. Um, you swoon, you sigh, you love, love seeing the sweet hue Oh yeah, a sweet few share a beautiful wedding gift with Claire while she and Jamie are on their honeymoon. This dragonfly in amber, a 3.5 ounce gem shaped soap soap bar is a unique and useful replica to preserve something of great beauty that exists out of its proper time. That couldn't be more perfect for Claire, could it? It has a subtle vanilla scent and is made of glycerin and comes packed in a velvet bag. Just so you know guys, I'm stumbling because the font is ridiculously small. All right, we've got this next um, item here from, this looks, uh, I don't know what this is, but this looks like it's going to be hard to open. Oh, no, not so bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys. You guys know how much I love trinket dishes. If you don't, oh, it's so glittery and sparkly and everything. Wow. This says, Oh, ye are blood of me, my blood, and bone of my bone. I give my body that we too might be one. I give you my spirit till our life shall be done. Oh, I think I remember where that's from. Certain wedding vows. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous trinket dish. Yep, wedding, I'm right, wedding vows trinket dish. We're pretty sure everyone completely melted when Jamie repeated to Claire their Gaelic wailing, wedding vows. Such beautiful words stir a soul and make you believe in true love. That is for sure. If there's anybody, it's those two actors and their characters and their chemistry. This swoon-worthy trinket dish designed by uh, Chatty, uh, Chatty Nora at Chatty Nora Instagram features a gold rim, gold foiling, and is a meaningful sentiment to treasure forever. The hexagon dish measures 4.15 inches by 4.15 inches and 8 tenths of an inch deep. <laughs> Sorry, love those measurements. This is absolutely stunning. I love trinket dishes and this is perfect. It, it's so beautiful and seeing their wedding was just absolutely amazing too. If you guys haven't seen that, then, um, that is just a beautiful moment and he says these beautiful words to her. So next we've got something. Oh, we've got a dragonfly on the box. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is beautiful packaging by Lit Joy, I've got to say. Um, I'm really liking Lit Joy. I think I'm going to be following them more closely and seeing what else they have on their website. That could be dangerous. 
Um, let's see what we've got in here. Oh my gosh. I can't believe all this arrived. This un like, <laughs> I guess I shouldn't <laughs> jinx it, but in, in one piece. What is this? This is a teacup. Oh my goodness. It's lived by Litjoy themselves. Oh, and it's got the key. It's this. Yes. This is a painting of Lolly Brock, and I know my light is on that. This is an absolute gorgeous painting of Lolly Brock, which is the estate that Jamie's. Jamie owns. He's basically in charge of from his parents, and he finally gets to return home with Claire to Lolly Brock. Yes, the quote on the inside, take me home to Lollybrock. And the key, which I'll get to in a minute, has some representation. This is the key that Jamie has to Lollybrock. This is when Claire decides that she wants to stay versus go back to her own, her own time. And it's just such a sweet moment in the story. Oh, and the other sides, of course, show the stones where she could have left. Uh, this was a pivotal moment in the show books and just absolutely gorgeous it's just a really adorable little teacup i'm i love it am i gonna put it in the trinket dish i oh no i'm not going to um that's just oh that's so beautiful you guys i love everything i'm getting right now this is just absolutely absolutely incredible uh i've got so many more things you guys there's so many items in this box we've got something here in a little baggy. All right, I'll show you the beautiful lid of the tin in a minute. I took a risk. This is Claire's Herbal Tea, and it has a yummy smell, definitely of, I would say, vanilla, um, but we'll read about it in a minute. I just wanted to show you that's what it looks like opened. It was very full <laughs> opening it. All right, so we have this gorgeous tin, again, with the standing stones um, right there in front, and it's got Claire's Herbal Tea Blend in it. Sorry, Claire's Highland to Blend Tea. Sip on your own cup of Claire's Highland non-caffeinated herbal tea blend while reading your favorite book or watching and re-watching your favorite swoon-worthy Highlander couple. It comes in a two-ounce tin and features the flavors of Ru Ruby Rubos Vanilla, Mango Melange, and a Fruit Medley. Wow. I'm going to have to try that. I, that's the type of tea I think I would really like. That sounds really, really good. And we have a perfect teacup to go with it to boot. I love this box. Have I said that yet? All right, next we have Claire's Knit Gloves. These are really pretty. Um, really, really gorgeous. We've got this nice design here up at the top. Oh, and they, they, they are attached like socks. All right, so let's read about these in the product guide. If you're going to be traveling across the Scottish Highlands during the 18th century, you're going to want these knitted fingerless gloves. Wear them or display them. Either way, the dark green color and thistle button, oh, it's a, th a thistle button, will remind you of rolling green hills and large cleft stones. You will be cozy and warm like your home. All right, so these are fingerless gloves. Have you guys ever worn fingerless gloves? I. I have gloves that have turned into being fingerless because, because they um, got old. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this took a hot minute to figure out, but here are the gloves. Just one on, I'm not gonna uh, take them apart yet, but this is what it looks like. This is, these are nice and warm. These actually are ridiculously warm. This looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, we've got her gloves. This something with this material would definitely, definitely keep you warm. Although your fingers, would be, except for your fingers, otherwise you'd be very warm traveling across the Scottish Highlands. All right, the items keep on coming, you guys. We've got another Lit Joy ex ex exclusive here, and look at this gorgeous symbol in the back. I think this is a symbol for um, Lollybrock, I believe. I believe that's the Lollybrock symbol, but. We have a matching saucer to go with our teacup. I thought there was one. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. We've got the tartan at the top. And, oh, I probably know the significance of which flowers these are. I'm just forgetting. And the lolly rock symbol in the middle. Uh, I do wish that was centered a little bit, but that's just a picky mistake. <laughs> um, or just a picky request, I suppose. But, there we 
we go. Now the tea is nice and on the teacup. Ready to go with our tea. That is just so pretty. That is such a pretty teacup. Oh my gosh. I can't get over it. I can't get over this box. Alright, so we're going to keep moving because guess what guys? There's more items. There are definitely more items. I'm so excited. <laughs> this one cracks me up, you guys. All right, so the next item we have is a bit funny. It's a pocket, quote unquote, pocket size Jamie standee. And here's the back of it. And the front, if you can see through the light, you can see that it's the front. And they say, the product guide says there's a film that's supposed to protect a film that's supposed to come off of here. But I am not being, I'm not able to peel this at the moment at all right now. I've been sitting here trying for a long time and I, all right, but Jamie would stand on this stand right here. He stands up actually perfectly fine on the table. More items. Wow. This just looks like it's, oh my goodness. You guys know I'm a sucker for wooden boxes, right? Wow. Wow. Oh, we've got the student stones again. We've got Claire. We've got Jamie. This is absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, the stones of Craig Dune. This is just, sorry, Inverness. Where am I? I should probably uh, watch some Outlander, some Outlander before I, um, before I've unboxed this. I mean, I, I saw season five a while ago at this point. Oh my gosh, and there's stuff in here, you guys. There's stuff in here. Let's read about this gorgeous, gorgeous box. No way. It's a Standing Stones music box. Wow. Sing me a song of a lass that is gone. Say, could that lass be I? Travel to the richly green highlands of Scotland and dance through the trees with this enchanting wind-up music box. Engraved with Jamie and Claire among the standing cleft stones upon the rolling hill of Cragna Dune, you won't help but feel the breeze, smell the rich land, and hear the lit. What does that say? Lit. Lifting? Lifting? Sorry, guys, it's so. The print is so tiny. Hear the music. We're just going to say hear the music and feel you're right there with them. Wow, that is just gorgeous. This is the most gorgeous thing. This is so pretty. Oh, it doesn't smell like a wooden box. Sometimes, you know, I kind of like the smell of a wooden box just as much. And you guys, there's something inside of it. But we'll get there in a moment. I want to see if it works. Don't you guys want to hear the music? I don't know if I'll get copyright strike if it plays the... Um, ah... It's on the bottom. <laughs> wow. Gosh, how long did I crank it? Look at it going in there. Wow. Okay, now it won't stop. Ever since I started looking at Outlander merchandise, this is one item I've always wanted. You guys, it's Claire's ring from Lolly Brock. If you guys don't know, what Jamie did for her wedding ring, it's, it's actually on a necklace. Oh, and good, that came out, it's not tangled at all. Very nice quality chain. Again, we've got the blingy silver that I seem to be loving and really working, looking out on getting. But he took the key to Lollybrock that is in, that is featured in this teacup here. He took that key and took, uh, took it to his friend, who we know to be Murtaugh. Uh, bless Murtaugh, he's a fantastic character, isn't he? And, sorry, this teacup is not staying now. Uh, anyway, but he took it to his friend Murtaugh, who had some blacksmithing skills, and he fashioned a ring out of part of the handle on the key that he didn't need, and it symbolized the fact that he could take Claire home and to Lolly Rock. 
and the fact that this is on a necklace is just amazing <laughs> it's obviously a replica but it's 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 everything this is so cool um it really does it's even got the ring is famous for having this little knot right here so this is so busy will it even fit on me it'll fit on my pinky it did look kind of tiny i don't think it's, you know it's on a necklace so i guess you can do with what you want with it if you want to wear it as a ring or a necklace but this is just perfect the product guide says follow jamie to unlock lolly brock with your very own wedding ring necklace made from the key to jamie's homeland this beautiful replica ring has Sassanac and grade engraved inside and will hang beautifully around your neck on the 24 inch chain long stainless steel silver chain with a two inch extender oh it's got Sassanac on the inside that's right did he did he do that or is that just for this box now i can't remember does if anybody remembers please put it in the comments below i can't quite remember uh, I don't know if I'll be able to show this to you guys, but it is in there. Um, maybe if I hold it like this, it'll say Sassanac. If, Sassanac. if not, I'll get some uh, good pictures because it is engraved in there. So you keep the chain at the top. Get my finger out of the way. Sassanac is right along here on the inside. That is amazing, you guys. Absolutely. I'm loving this box in case you didn't know. <laughs> In case you didn't know, wow. This box is just blowing me away with their incredibly accurate artwork. And we've got Jamie and Claire on one side and the other. It definitely is a bookmark. They're calling it a wood mark. Uh, keep Jamie and Claire's complicated relationship and love close to your heart with this lovely two-sided wood mark beautifully designed by Maria underscore Lahane. Blood of my blood and bone of my bone, Jamie and Claire will always be one. This wood mark measures six inches by two inches and comes in a brown envelope. Yes, it did. It did come in a brown envelope. <laughs> I just took it out for you guys to see. That is really, I don't know where to put it. It's really, really pretty. And we've got this little um, film strip. Actually, this is, oh, this is so clever, you guys. All right, next we have a film strip of one of the first few episodes where Claire rides with Jamie kind of reluctantly at first this is not on the product guide but I love the artist the artist shows her reluctance at first and just it's phenomenal they're both looking very angry and upset at the situation in the first one and then as you go down like she wants to get in the third one she glances up at him and then he stops from looking forward and glances down at her and then they're glancing at each other and it just it tells their story so well and this is really cool there's a um this, this is something from artwork by sarah conradson and it's got a um oh a qr code app on the back of it sorry i couldn't think of it uh for lit joy to see more fandoms fandoms at lit joy but just gorgeous gorgeous artwork this is the most stunning box I think I've ever, I don't know, you guys, this is the most stunning box I've ever gotten. I feel like, I feel like there's some that are in competition with this for sure, but we've got one last item here. Oh, look at this, you guys. This is gorgeous. Everything in here. I've been saying that all night, haven't I? Everything is gorgeous. All right. This last item appears to be a shawl pin probably for the shawl that we opened at the very beginning it's very 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 pretty it's uh this part comes out really easily but that's how it's supposed to look right like that so we put that down there this is the celtic knot metal shawl pin whether or not you're scottish this beautiful celtic knot Shawl pin designed by independent artists at maggie.rose.studio should be displayed and worn with pride. Put it on your sweater, hold up your shawl, clasp together your cloak, or put it up for the exhibit in your library. Just like the Fraser clan's motto, Jesus Prest, you can tell the world that you are ready for whatever life brings you. The pin comes as two pieces, a circular motto, quote, and the stick pin needle that comes with a cap. 
I'm glad that stick pin needle came with the cat bar. I may have uh, <laughs> had another uh, bleeding episode on camera when I opened this, but this is this is very pretty. This would go really well with the the tartan slash shawl at the bottom. So, wow, this box is everything, isn't it? I I can't even right now. I just can't. Yeah, you can't even. I don't even know where to put anything, let alone talk words, everything. So let's do a, so just a quick minor discussion. There were 12 items in this box, 13 if you count the little bit of um, the film strip artwork that wasn't in the product guide. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously I did, I did really, I spent $120 on this, so I definitely love every single thing. I am really into the Outlander series. It's one of my favorite shows. Um, I would have to say, gosh, if I had to pick favorite items, I mean, literally everything. Um, but definitely, I mean, you guys know I was really a big fan of wanting a replica ring. Um, and the fact that it's on a nice chain is really nice too. Mm. And, um, yeah, that's just, it's, it's perfect with the little spot that it has. And it's, it's also a nice memory of not only Jamie's thoughtfulness, but Murtaugh, um, and his, his blacksmith abilities that we see in the beginning of when we first are introduced to that character. And also, obviously, the wooden box. I was just looking at the details again. It's so, so amazing, so beautiful, so perfect. Again, everything in this box, I think, captures the essence of Claire and Jamie. It captures the essence of Outlander. More of the earlier seasons, which is good because I like the earlier seasons the best. Um, I really, really, really love this trinket dish with the wedding vows that Jamie says to Claire. They're absolutely beautiful absolutely the blood of my blood bone of my bone you just absolutely swoon worthy words as they say um i'm not usually a fan of teacups but guys this teacup and saucer is absolutely gorgeous and just something i'd love to put on display i mean we've got we've got inverness the stones at inverness and lollybrock can't go wrong you really cannot go wrong and it really represents the lollybrock on the saucer um i'm I'm just in awe. I love the soft tartan, too. The, the sh a scarf slash blanket. You guys, I could go on and on and on. Of course, the dragonfly and amber soap. I kind of wish, I kind of wish for the price that there was. The only complaint I could potentially have, other than the product guide writing being too small, would be the fact that I would have loved a piece of real amber. But, you know, I know. <laughs> I do have some insects in, in a collection that are in amber. Um... On my crystal shelves, you may have guys remember that from a video a long time ago. Um, it would be found in my crystal uh, playlist if anybody's interested. But I digress. Um, but it would have been really cool to have a real piece of amber and a dragonfly in it. But you know that's really hard to get a lot of pieces like that. You know, I totally understand. I think a soap was a smart way to go, and it smells really good. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this amazing, amazing box. Let me know if you've watched Outlander or if you've read the books or both. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this was a long one, but I really appreciated it. This is obviously a box that deserves special attention for sure. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me. It helps my channel. And until next time, guys, haste you back.